Hi everyone, happy Saturday. How's everyone doing today? I wanted to pop on here. I hadn't done my empties yet this week. It's been quite a crazy hectic week and I hope everyone's doing well. Thank you for watching or liking and subscribing. Um, we're in the middle of tax season. Some of you may have done your taxes back in April, but the government gave everyone a uh, extension until October 16th. So my work has been extra crazy with people, you know, scrambling to get their 2022 stuff bookkeeping done so that they can file on, on time next week. So I've been really busy with that. Very blessed to have more work than I know what to do with um, and enjoying warming some fall things in my home, candles and wax. Um, two keys broke on my brand new laptop that I purchased this past June. So I've been really aggravated and trying not to burst into tears over getting these keys fixed because it's still under warranty. Maybe Teddy jumped on it when I wasn't looking. I didn't drop it or hit it or do anything to this laptop, but I went and bought an external keyboard today, which I should have really had anyways. And, uh, We'll see what happens, but I, I'm not crying right now. I didn't fully burst into tears over this yet because I wanted to come on and do my empties and then I have to do some work. So we're dealing with 90s degree weather here in California, hopefully which will end this evening and then it will start to cool off. And that's about it. So let's get started on what I warmed this past week. I'm just going to wipe off my glasses really quick so I can see. Um, anywho, uh, in my living room this past week, I was very delighted trying to get through old wax still, but I was very delighted to finish off several pieces of apple corn pudding from Candles from the Keeping Room. Now, um, I have a few bags of her wax left. I've ordered from her a couple times, though her wax is very, very hard. Um, it works best with tea lights and then soon recently discovered I put this is probably almost three years old I put four pieces of this in a crock in the living room and it was so crazy good my gosh if you have uh, wax from candles from the keeping room try putting it in your candle crock or tea light warmer goodness gracious the beauty of the candle crock which I keep ranting about sorry is that this lasted for like 14 hours um, whereas a tea light, the scent would, goes away pretty quickly because it's just so darn hot. So that was beautiful. I finished a beloved last piece of Teddy Bee's Cinnamon Toast Coffee Bean a la Mode. I hope she will pour this again. This is beautiful. And this is pretty old. I absolutely love that. And I'm trying to... Well, actually, it's from January 2022. But this... you got to warm what you love. I mean, I get that... But I can't get this readily again unless I have somebody else make it. So I, it was so good. And I'm so glad it per, still performed well. Yay. Hooray, hooray. <laughs> um, I finished this beautiful half a clam from Honey Soda Co. called Starling. This is um, Kentish Rain, Black Amber, and Lavender. This is so beautiful. I've talked about... It's so delicate and lovely and whatever Kentish Rain is, maybe that's a single oil, I don't know, but it's so pretty. Honey Soda Company, they're in Chico, California. She does candles, she's lovely. Sorry, I, I have dirt under my thumbnail. I'm sorry, that was weird. I was digging at seven o'clock this morning outside. So that was, the piece of dirt from my ground is gone now, sorry. <laughs> Oy. Um, I finished some lemon shortbread from Better Homes and Gardens. That was super delicious smelling. I finished some Gilligan's Brew, Rose Girls. That was good. I did that in my living room. I have a, a summer country sampler from Rose Girls that I'm so enjoying still. And I finished off Country Fair Cherry Crumb Pie. Uh, plump cherries, cinnamon sugar, flaky pie crust. That was so good. Uh, this is an older souffle from Sassy Girl Aroma called Lord of the Woods. I stuck this whole souffle in a crock, and it was so pretty. Lord of Misrule Asian Sandalwood. That was really good. It was a beautiful souffle with, like, pastel-type chunks sticking out of the top. It was so good. Um, cranberry Apple Peach Peeps Cake. That was so delicious. I finished that. Britta's. This is one of my very, very favorite blends. Oh my gosh, hipster, roasted pine cone, 
uh, vanilla bean marshmallow. This went for at least 13 or 14 hours in my kitchen and, and my dining room open concept area. I, I'm so glad I have more of this. Jason is gorgeous. Oh, so good. Um, I got this beautiful um, lavender and speckles bag from Alexis in a random act of kindness. She's so lovely. Um, fall fresh strawberries. This was very strong. Sweater weather, sweet strawberry, sh sugar cookie royale. That was really good. Super strong. Um, another uh, Rose Girls um, Country Fair sampler under the boardwalk, summer boardwalk and summer scoop. That was really good. This is from, oh my gosh, I got a bunch of samples from, I think this is from the Melt Stash. This was so pretty. This is from a year ago, white pumpkin amber. That was beautiful. I finished some Kissing on the Beach, which is a huge favorite. I need to get more of this. It's so hard to keep my wax organized, so and this sounds awful, but I might have another bag of this. I don't remember. It's really hard for me sometimes to find. I try to keep all the Rose Girls together and the different vendors, you know, in their own little drawers, but sometimes it's hard to remember what, what I have. So I hope I have more of this. Kissing on the Beach is Lotus Flower, Ocean Mist, Sea Air, Driftwood, Musk, Dew, and Coastal Kale. This is so, 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 so good. Okay, what else? I went through a piece of this beautiful wild berry mousse waffle cone velvet sugar. This is from L3. I love that. I love anything L3. This was a really pleasant surprise. It's like my little Hello Kitty here. I found him at CVS. They restocked a couple weeks ago and he um, does his little dance. It shakes the whole bed. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just had to share that with you. <laughs> I'm giggly today. I don't know. Either burst into tears or giggle a little bit. What, what, what's it going to be? Um, does anybody remember Twisted Dame? Did anybody ever buy from her? She stopped her business a while ago. Sarah, just really talented. And I'm, I feel bad that she had to close her business. But this is pretty old. And this blew up in my kitchen. This is Lady Death. Cherry pistachio. Salted caramel. Sandalwood and sugar cookie. And I, I do still have some old wax from her and this performed so well in the crocs in my kitchen. Deep fried Twinkies from that country Rose Girl sampler. Deep fried golden sponge cake, whipped buttercream filling. That was super strong. I also finished off today, it smells so good in my house right now out there. Strawberry jam sugar cookie bread dough from Candles from the Keeping Room. Um, I. I can't even say how delightful it is to know that you have old wax that maybe with with an open concept or with AC you had some challenges and how it would perform but to know that with um, Crocs or a candle jar warmer or something um, that works that functions properly that you will get performance no matter what over out of wax pretty much whoever you buy from. So to get this exceptional crazy throw that I never got before because I put these in my Crocs that, now that I have them, uh, let me tell you, <laughs> super yummy. Um, thanks for letting me rant on and on every day about candle Crocs. Um, it's Charity and Alexis and Natalie's fault because <laughs> I love you girls, but thank you. <laughs> I mean, God, the two years that I didn't have any Crocs that I struggled with performance in my open beam ceiling extravaganza. Anyhow, Rose Girls, are you ready for some football? This was really good. Vanilla crunch donut, cinnamon, apple, citrus, pecan, pe peach, raspberry, clove. This is from last year. I have a fall get through last year box, so that still performed very well. From Black Magic Melts, Master Chef. Honeydew pear. That was really good. I know she changed her name. I really enjoyed what I did order from her. Um, I'm going through that. Uh, the whole cookie jar from L3. That was really good. Cookie therapy, sugar cookie dough, pink frosted animal cookie. This was exceptional. This was from Super Tarts. Glazed donut, salted caramel, and pie crust. This was so unique and so good in my kitchen yesterday. Wow. I really love that. Uh, from 30A Scents, which used to be Dexter Pores, I finished Zombie Pumpkin Zucchini Bread. I had sent some of this wax to Alexis to try, and I'm, I'm so glad it performed well for her. I 
got it in this bag rather than a clam. And I was just, it, I, she, Darian from Dexter poured this before when she was still in business. So Teresa, her lovely mom took over and she offered this again. Um, super good, really beautifully, um, beautifully fragrant and strong. And then another favorite from one of my favorite vendors on Etsy, Pumpkin Seed Wax and Bath Co., this was um, so good. This was Boardwalk Pretzel Donuts. Soft warm pretzel, creamy vanilla butter, and salted roasted peanuts. Handmade wax, pumpkin seed wax, bathco.com. And her wax is exceptional. I've ordered from her for a couple years. What else? I think that's it. Oh, one more. A couple more here. Um, another sampler from the country sampler, uh, State Fair Kettle Corn. That was really, really good. Brown sugar, pecan, caramel, sweet, and salty kettle corn. And an old favorite. I haven't ordered from them in a while. Fandoms and Fairy Tales. They're still around. They're on Etsy. I think they also have a website. Um, Hitchhiking Ghosts. They do a lot of, um, this is Haunted Mansion scented wax. They do a lot of Disneyland themed scents. Um, I've gotten uh, a lot of Main Street Memories type stuff that like um, what Dessa does. But it's really good. A fresh kind of musty, haunted, damp, dank uh, scent. Super, super good. So that's it for empties. Um, so thank you for watching that. And I just want to say how appreciative I am of so many kind, wonderful people in the wax community um, and so many wonderful vendors that I have met. Um, just so kind and creative. And I, I love Carla um, from K. She is so lovely. She is uh, always there to help you with a blend, always open, always willing to have you do customs. Um lovely lovely woman she's just her customer service her and connie who's her wonderful um uh employee and friend that works with her they they work so so very hard and so a big shout out to you carla we love you you you're you're a dream come true um and so many other wonderful vendors mary from harper james dessa um jenny from rose girls kathy from scoopable um just the business ethic and the and working hard and supporting um, small businesses in our community and our country is just so important just to, to help people keep people afloat. I'm, I'm overjoyed to um, be able to purchase from such wonderful people and uh, hope hoping to continue to do so. I, I just feel that I want to say from my own perspective, um, it, somebody told me a while ago that kindness is always appropriate. Now, being 60 years old, and I can't believe it still feels icky to have that come out of my mouth, being 60 as of December, I still learn every day, you know, try to be kind. Um, it, it's Sometimes things just go a lot smoother if you just be kind. You never know what somebody else might have going on. And when I do um, wax reviews or when I do empties, um, and as you might tell I've only been on this channel not that long I don't disparage vendors whether I like their blend or not you know do do we get things sometimes that maybe it just are not our cup of tea sure we do you know do we let it sit sometimes and maybe it performs magnificently on warm do we give should we do we give things a chance to say well this smells kind of different you know let's see how it is on warm a lot of times they transform and yes there is something called free speech. Everybody has their own channel and can really say whatever you want. However, going out of your way to joke about or to disparage a vendor and make fun of a blend they made with cartoons on the screen, with um, using less than kind comments or adjectives to describe a blend that they don't like, um, and you know, going out of your way to edit a video to put graphics on there that are not very kind as they continue to disparage the blend that a vendor worked hard on and thought that their customers would like is it's 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 not useful, you know. And it and it can hurt a vendor's feelings. And as we know, we're a kind of a small knit wax milk community. That's not just limited by the United States. We have wax friends that buy wax and vendors all over the world. 
So to go out of your way to be silly or to think that it's cool to your to maybe some of your other wax friend colleagues without maybe stopping to think if it would hurt a vendor's feelings if it came across their path. Um, what can I say? I appreciate so many of you. Kindness goes a long way. Sometimes I feel that that it would be cool if if there could be a little more tact and kindness. Um, uh, that's all, you know, but carry on. You, you guys are wonderful. You have your channels, you have your opinions and, and more power to you. But I just think that it would, it would be great to keep that kindness going and pay it forward. And you never know what somebody has going on. Kindness goes such a long way. And I, I'm just so grateful to have met so many wonderful people in this community and share the love of what we do when maybe our children or our loved ones in our family think we're kind of nuts for um, hoarding wax and being this kind of having this kind of home fragrance addiction, <laughs> you know, but we get it. We understand each other. Um, so I appreciate all of you. I hope that that came across okay. Thank you so much for listening and have a beautiful weekend. Bye.